Hi, I'm Bob Hasegawa, your state senator for the 11th Legislative District, here to give you a quick update on where we're at in the legislature. And we are on what we call House of Origin cutoff. So bills that have any chance of moving on to the next step need to be passed off the Senate floor and the House floor, respectively, by the end of today. So everybody's scrambling, as you can imagine. There's a lot of activity. People want to make sure that their bills don't die. Most of my bills have already been passed, so I'm kind of more relaxed now. So at any rate, some of the bills that I've passed are like an ethnic studies curriculum that tasks the office of the superintendent of public instruction to create this group that will make sure that uh, we develop ethnic studies curriculum for K-12 students. I have a billing transparency on utility bills, bill that's passed, a wrongful injury or death bill, which has got quite a history to it. If you want to learn more about it, I suggest you write to me and I'll send you information about that. But basically, it's a result of a racist law from 1907 in Washington State history that has prevented non-residents from receiving any wrongful death settlement money. Um, and there's a long story behind why that came about. But we fixed it now, at least in the Senate. Providing religious accommodations bill for students brought to me by students at the University of Washington so that we could make religious accommodations in school testing schedules. Link Deposit Program is another program that I've been actively at the point on for years, which is to provide subsidized low interest loans for certified minority and women-owned and veteran-owned business enterprises. We created Filipino American History Month which is October, and uh, today uh, you may see that I'm wearing these necklaces, which were actually given to me last year by what we call COFA citizens. And COFA are residents of our state who are from uh, here under what we call a compact of free association. And that means that they are from uh, the Repu Marshall Islands, Island of Palau, uh, Confederated States of Micronesia, we use their homeland as testing facilities for nuclear bombs, not below subterranean, but actual nuclear bombs that were putting radiation in the air, and then watching how it drifted over them and measuring the effects over the years. I mean, it's, it's a really unconscionable story behind this. At any rate, the U.S. government agreed to give them free access to the United States under this compact of free association without the need for a visa. But they are really struggling. The U.S. isn't providing any support for them, like even the basic medical and dental care for these folks. So we as a state have stepped up to provide medical care last year from another bill of mine that I've worked on provided the basic medical care for these COFA residents. This year, we're following that up with providing dental care coverage for those folks. So we just passed that bill off of the Senate floor, 48 to nothing. I anticipate it's going to be supported by the House as well and get to the governor's desk for their signing. And these necklaces were a token of their appreciation at the bill signing given to legislators and the governor. Uh, it was really a beautiful ceremony. So now that we're moving out of post House of Origin cutoff, there's a couple of big battles that yet to be fought. I have to make sure that my bills that pass the Senate now pass off to the House floor and then go to the governor's desk for a signature. But the real hidden battles are in the budget because the budget is the big kahuna, right? That's where we state our values and put our money literally where our mouths are. So I'll be fighting those fights to make sure that our community's interests are covered in the budget bill that we come out with before we close session. So that we've got, an, we're just past the halfway point in session, so we've got another couple months to go yet, but um, that's where the real fights will be and that's where I'll be on the front line. So I'll come back to you again in a couple of weeks and I'll let you know how things are going. All right. So for now, thanks for watching this. Um, if you want to contact my office, my contact information is scrolling across the bottom of the screen. So please let me know what you're thinking about all this. I'm Bob Hasegawa, your state senator from the 11th district.